artificial intelligence, AGI, not far away. A matter of time before it comes the day to the unserious, a day of depression, to the serious, a day with a question, what do I really want in my life? What is my obsession? But hey, why wait with asking that question? Let's not pretend, let's not depend on Elon Musk, Sam Altman, Microsoft and Google. Find out already what is in your heart ready, ready to be released, not GPT-5 or AGI, but the thing you can't stop yourself from releasing until you die. I visualize a time when we will be to robots what dogs are to humans. It's a quote from Cloud Shannon. This time will come sooner than you think. Maybe 10 years before you feel fear. Maybe next year if you are a software engineer. Or a month before you start your job hunt. When your job, company or service is replaced by artificial intelligence, you will face the question, what do I want to do with my life? But why wait to ask this question? my friend. Why back AI to spare you if you can already ask what you want to pursue after robots take your job interview? So should I become a YouTuber or creator or even artist? That's the question I want to unpack in this video. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over four million dollars in revenue, hired over 50 people. I started making videos on YouTube in 2012. I share this because you have been conditioned to care about these numbers, don't you? But they don't matter as much as what is effective. So what is effective? When you get out of life what you want, that is an effective life, isn't it? The truth is that nobody asks themselves what they want out of life. But I won't ask you to pause watching here so you may ask yourself the question of what do I want or how can I stop wasting my time? Because the serious person does this already and frankly that is the person that I'm trying to talk to. It is not about asking this question of how can I stop wasting my time as something on your to-do list, which I looked at it before. In fact, if I saw this video myself of someone else, I might have even added it to my to-do list to do it later in the day or in the evening or a moment when I had more time or when it was better to ask and that's fine because I wasn't serious before not serious and really wanting to know and it can be a long journey before you find answers so it is really about that inner flame to want to know it took me a long time before I found some clarity and it has become clear to me that creating will prevent me from wasting my time while at the same time hitting two birds with one stone where the two birds are one understanding about my life and the other one is financial freedom and the stone is my creation process which is writing or mainly writing I should say so growing my brand online for writing Writing, film, visual will help me remove the need for money. But it is through my writing that I finally see things for how they are, that I find truth in my life, which in my eyes is not a waste of time, which is, well, you could say subjective. So you may ask yourself what to me feels as a waste of time. I can't answer that for you, I guess. Even though there may be a truth that we are all looking for the same thing and therefore not wasting our time also looks the same to all of us, but that most will never realize what this really is, what it is really that they look for in life. Anyways, through my writing, I understand really. I unpack the beliefs I had in my life. I start to see why I did things, why I got what I got and why I wanted that in the first place and that most of the stuff are just not true. And this to me, I would say gives satisfaction, it leads to more peace in my life because I now understand where things come from and I also start to get detached from my mind, which is a very focused process, I would say. It's not easy because this voice has always been there but i won't go too deep about that in this video if you want to know more about that you can watch this video it's not about that in this one so how to know if you should become a creator too well first of all there is no shoot i'm not here to convince you trying to convince you with sharing information from my side to you will not strike your heart maybe inspiring you through an emotional way may hit your heart but i don't really have an interest in doing so i just don't like convincing and the serious person the artist doesn't need to be convinced this person already know somewhere deep inside that they want to create something or more if they're already doing so or better or whatever it looks like to them artists create art creators create writers write i don't have a choice that is how i feel honestly i keep thinking about it. i mean do we really have a choice because if i now say to myself you should stop writing can i can i really i mean in a physical sense i can but for a, something I, I can't put my finger on. There, there is just something that it seemed almost like we are destined for something. And I think one of the maybe most profound things you can find out for yourself in your life is finding out what you are meant to create, meant to do. In an essence, we all create something, whatever it is. So I'm not talking about a content creator in that sense, talking in creating anything, whether you are an athlete or whether you are an entrepreneur or artist, scientist, whatever it is. To me, I feel there's no way back after I made some realizations, mainly through my writing process. No way back to the boring chase of money, which is how it feels to me right now. No way back to being lived 
by my mind, not being able to control my thoughts. No way back to materialism. Let's be honest. If you're watching this, there's already a part in your heart that is consumed by the idea of creating something. Or if you already do it, to be fully devoted to getting sucked in your work, to do it with even more passion, with even more clarity, come one with it, so to speak. So you may ask yourself, what is holding me back? To me, the opinion of others was one of them. Or the illusion that friends, family or acquaintances really even cared about my work, about my post on social media. If I had seen through this illusion earlier, I guess I would have never stopped creating since I started in 2008. So the illusion, at least to me, and I think, well, look for yourself how powerful this to the majority of people that are, well, be controlled by this illusion. May you see through this illusion yourself. And don't ask me how to do that, because if your desire is there, you will expose your face on social media, you will share your writings, you will be live on a live stream, and you will find out that nobody cares about you, only about themselves. Let me move. Too much sun. Oh, this is better. So do you let fear withhold you from a life without waste of time? Do you let your mind control you for the rest of your life like AI controls the robot? I mean, AI generated people may find a way to your heart, but they will never have a heart because they don't need one. Therefore, they will never create pure art, only information that will never reach the heart. So if your heart is telling you to create, what do you want to create? When you find out, create that. There's possibly already something in your mind. Please do not let your mind interfere because it will come up with plenty of reasons not to. The algorithm this, niche that, f*** your niche. If you want to know why I say that, I made a whole video about it that you may watch here. But in the essence, it's come down to this. Shakespeare did not have a niche, did he? So why do you? It reminds me of a poem I wrote some time ago. Here it is. Escape the golden cage so you can finally be fully engaged. For once in your life completely immersed, smiling at the niche, not knowing their curse. Just expose yourself and your books will be on everyone's shelf. Because true artists are rare, the world craves their content. In Dutch we say, when the need is greatest, salvation is near. Maar alleen als je hart genoeg rent. So run away from the crowd, just give yourself permission, it is allowed. You may watch this video next to find out more in depth about it, but never compromise on the things you want to create. Never compromise on the purity of your creation, or even the purity of your inspiration. Because the impurity of your work will create a greater dissatisfaction than any other job that you don't want to do can and if you already create you may know what i mean stop wasting time my friend find out what you want to create whether it's a book whether it's a painting whether it's a car whether it's a movie what do you want to create that's a question i leave you with forgive me for the possibly untrue or fearful title that i used for this video at least that has gotten you to this end and it may start the search within the serious person find it out they want before it's too late not before ai comes but before death strikes which may come sooner than you think a lifelong search from waste of time towards freedom and only the serious person may check the show notes and if you are serious and would like to talk to me or just ask me a question you can always send me an email or dm me on social i won't ask for money but i only respond to serious people talk soon